what's going on, Gainer? I've been spending our coffee supporters' money again. <laughs> so, <laughs> this is our cinema duplex for fish. It's fish TV big time. Oh yeah, this is definitely fish TV big time. Why do we time. call it fish TV? Not everybody might know. Oh, um, <laughs> Prudence uh, likes to uh, look at the fabric and she just thinks it's her telly, but she wants a bigger one. So <laughs> I'm going to um, use these poppers to put it behind the door. And then um, Beverly wanted to cover up her slight mistake, so obviously we'll do that. Excuse me, excuse me. Unique feature. Unique feature. <laughs> but it will also, because um, there's a little gap between the two slats, which you need because we wanted uh, washboards, but this will um, cover that as well. So um, it'll act as an insulator. So uh, double whammy and uh, Prudence gets her bigger deli. I think a double whammy is meant to be a bad thing. Okay, well, it's a good thing. A double on whammy. It's, we get two benefits from it. Oh, uh, this is definitely a salty lass adaptation. Of water around us. Well, I'm taking them. Yes, first thing we're going to do is reap them because um, I'll, I'll do that. You control the uh, line because with right. the salty lass, we have to uh, reef um, the Genoa uh, before we can heave to um, because uh, well, otherwise the Genoa overpowers the, um, the steering. The steering. So um, we've um, done that. Now we're going to. Um, Release. Um, We're going to release the main sheet, take the restraining line off and get ready to heat too. Yeah, <laughs> so I've got to do all that. Throw those gloves below deck so they're not tangling the lines. So I've just done a release. My boom is in the middle. Put my uh, restraining thing in my pocket. I do love those pockets. Are those binoculars going to obstruct you on the reefing lines? Um, take them off. I'll take that Jenny sheet off the reef. Off the reef I'll take the Jenny sheet off. Yeah. Okay, I'll put those on the door top. Okay, so you feel okay? I feel fine. Okay, take another wind. Um, wait a minute. Right, it's okay. It's just, um... Oh, I forgot what the part I'm doing. Right, you're not going to do anything till I take her through because we've no seal up to let out. Of course, of course. That's what's wrong with your procedure. <laughs> but when we get the seal going up, you might need to... Tell you what, release the main sheet now because it's all tangled on the, um... On the, on, on the hooks. Yes, yes, that's what you mean. So if it needs to go out, it can do, you know what I mean? Yes. Yes, you're right. That that was what was wrong with my procedure. We're doing... <laughs> we don't have any seal up at this point. Yeah. All right, you ready? <laughs> I'm ready. Okay, here goes. Heaving two. We'll sail all back eventually. Yeah. Come on, babes. Where you come? Time now she should back. Right. Okay, she's back. Let me let me let me get her in. See if we can hold her against this. I can't hold her with too much Jenny. Wait a minute. We've too much Jenny up. We're gonna to need to take it to one reef. Okay. Complete the tack.
Okay. I'm just gonna lock that off because okay, it's just, just annoying. Okay, jump on the sheet then. I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring her into one reef. The reason we've had to bring it in is because we've got quite a lot of wind. It's too much wind for us, yeah. Too much wind. To okay, I've got her on the second reef on the Jenny. Okay, so it's too okay, much so wind to keep to. Okay, speed and then we can do our attack again. Okay. Hang on. Are we heave to on this side? No, we're not because the wind's in the wrong place. You just back to seal, that's all. I thought that was a heave to, wasn't it? It is, but the wind's got to be in front of you. Not with your right shoulder. Okay. Oh, oh, okay. Let her right, let her right. She's out. Well, this is a hoo ha. Right, you're clearly out of practice. It's like clearly ready. out of practice. Ready for your heave to again. Yeah, just go with the map. Right, okay. It wasn't your fault that there was too much wind in the Jenny. No, I know, but. Right, let's build up some speed. <laughs> oh, you really do see all our. Uh... Well, you might do if I'm feeling evil in the edit and it just might vanish. <laughs> well, there is that, but you know, I'm just sort of saying, if you want to see our mistakes and our triumphs, right. then... Are you ready for this? I'm, I'm hopefully ready for this. Okay, so here we go. Heaving, heaving to, to starboard. So here we go. Hopefully we've got enough to take us through the turn. Come on, babes, come on. Take us through. Take us through. Come on, a bit more. Right there, she'll back. There. Right, she's back here. Okay, that's drop the turn. Let's see if I can hold it. Okay, you stay on there then. Yeah, just give it a bit of time. Look, give it a bit of time. There's a gust. Well, you see the main sheet. No, it's not going to work. Oh, because of the. Um, not, because of the. Um, because it's not going to work. Yeah, because of the. There was no because of the. Okay. You can keep saying that. Okay. There's just too much wind for this. Okay. Oh well, we're not heaving on two under engines, so, so we're going to stick the engine on and heave and uh, do it the normal way. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Go. Stop, stop, stop. She's throwing around a lot on the swales. Can you bring her to the wind again? Not yet, not yet. definitely my exercise done and now all I've got to do is sort out the shambles known, our sh known as our sheets and halyards. Yeah. Well hopefully you've got us talking while we uh, did a heave to and a, <laughs> a mild panic and a mild panic but uh, if not um, basically what we were trying to do was we were trying to heave to um, to lift the main uh, but um, we had quite a lot of uh, wind and um, we just couldn't hold the heave to position so in the end we had to put the engine on for the, for the gust size we were getting with we too much Genoa out yeah so um, we put the main up to the third reef um, if we put up any more main, uh, we'd actually blanket the Genoa, so um, that's why we're just keeping it at, th at the third. But um, it's rather rolly, the sea state at the moment, but that's because the wind is coming from behind us. Um, and the, the, the blow overnight came from that direction too. Yeah, and the blow uh, came from uh, the north as well, so you've got a little bit of swell on. 
what else is happening? Oh yes, we've left hard glass, that's what we've done. <laughs> and when I was in hard glass, um, I took down our St George's uh, courtesy flag. It's not really a courtesy flag, it's um, Club Burgey, because yesterday was St George's Day. We're and not members of Royal St George's, we uh, had a very pleasant evening there and they give us a Burgey to commemorate the uh, evening by. So, since it's Royal St George's Yacht Club in Dublin, we tend to fly on St George's Day because not being club members, we shouldn't really fly, but we feel that we can sort of bend the rules a little bit if it's St George's Day, don't we, Gaynor? We certainly do. Um, we currently still have the um, sail cruising Northern Ireland uh, Club Burgey up. Yeah, big shout out to Chris Cardwell, who runs the group. Um, and uh, if you ever need, if you ever are sailing in Northern Ireland um, waters, do give them um, a shout uh, because they're really helpful people. So um, yeah, we're in Northern Ireland and we've got the Northern Ireland Burgey up. Yep. Well, we've only we'll only be in Northern Ireland for about another twenty miles and then we'll be in the Republic. Yeah, and then the courtesy flag and will go up. up. Whoa! Tonight, yeah. I've shrunk. <laughs> I'm not the woman I was. No. <sighs> we were looking for a, a pulley. Where's it gone? You're sitting on it. Am I sitting on the pulley? No, oh, so it is. <sighs> it fell off the hook and wound up behind our box of dog ropes. So, so we've had to empty the entire locker. <laughs> so now that the locker is empty. I can now get back out of it. And Beverly is out. I've just got to get all this lot back in again. So, give us something to do. It's a quiet day. Fitted the um, and just fitted the preventer. So, yeah. Well, I'm afraid to say the engine's on. Um, the preventer did very well. It gave us at least three hours of sailing, um, but the wind just sort of got very, very fluky and is now down to about... <laughs> what, what wind speed are we on, Bev? Five knots. Five knots, and um, we really um, need more than that to keep uh, any of our sails up. And particularly in this swell, there's a lot of swell about. And uh, I'm not quite willing to try my new downwind sail. <laughs> not with this stuff, no. Uh, not with the, especially with the amount of roll we're getting. So, um, anyway, we're going to be passing um, the mouth of, which bay is it, love? Carlingford. Carlingford. We're going to be passing the mouth of Carlingford in a bit. And um, what we're thinking of doing is anchoring tonight um, at um, Dunluce. Is it Dunluce? No, Dundalk. Dunluce, Dundalk. Is, Dunluce is about 60 miles north of here. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's in Scotland, isn't it? No, it's outside Port Rush. Oh, uh, okay. So yeah, hard. and we're going to be passing um, Carlingford Lock entrance. Uh, but we're going to actually be uh, anchoring tonight in Don Dock Bay. So uh, that's the plan. 